Promise me something. Anything. My husband can never find out about us. Of course, never. <sighs> hey, why don't you keep your eyes on the road, dog? God, I wish we could just be together wherever we want and stop hiding in cheap motels and pawing at each other in the back of cabs. I thought you liked pawing at me in the back of cabs. You know what I mean. Well, you know it don't have to be like this. I mean, you can always break up with your stupid boyfriend. And why are you with that loser anyway? Maybe it's not that simple. I know that he's penniless, but when his mother dies, he'll inherit a small fortune. So that's when you leave him? When he's grieving? You know the say, when it rains, it pours. You're so wicked. <laughs> Hey, babe. Don't get too comfortable. We're going out. What do you mean we're going out? I just got in. Well, then you're ready to go out again, right? Don't be ridiculous. We don't go out. You can't afford to take me out. Well, tonight's different. I got some big news, and I think it's worth sharing a nice meal over. I just had dinner with a friend. You can tell me all about that over a nice glass of expensive wine. We're going out. So, what's this big news you want to share? So, first off, I know that money has been tight, but I don't care. There's a question that I want to ask you, so, surprise, open it. Bree, will you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? Oh, you don't like it. I prefer gold. Don't you know what an engagement ring is supposed to look like? Right, yes. Can take it back. Besides, we could probably use that money for something else, right? Well, I didn't say I didn't want it. So, your answer is yes? Brie, honey, I love you. We can start planning an engagement party immediately. We'll have everybody over this Saturday. You're absolutely gonna love it. Saturday, no, I have plans. Can you just push it back? I already started inviting people. So, here's the deal, hear me out, okay? You can just show up for a little while and then you can run out after. Fine. Fine. Babe, please, I don't lose much time. No, don't make things difficult. I promise I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, I have to go. Yeah, I'm with Judd the door on six chair. Your favorite. Okay, buddy to you. Bye. What is all of this? I thought we didn't have any money. Why have my ways, darling? Are you picking up more shifts at the restaurant? Yeah. I'll be doing that too, but what I'm really trying to tell you is I got another job. Doing what? I'm going to be working for Uber. Are you serious? Yeah, I love it. Be making extra cash, and in addition to that, tips are unbelievable. I was already embarrassed because I was married to a waiter, and now you're telling me I'm married to an Uber driver? Bree, I'm doing what I can to put the food on the table, okay? And in addition to that, with this extra income, I'll finally be able to buy you nice things again. So you've already started working? Yeah, started last month. Oh, by the way, let me introduce you to uh, a new friend from work. Hey, come on over. Hey, there you are. Hi, I'm Bree, Sans fiance. Hi, I'm Pam. Thank you so much for inviting us. And congratulations. This is my husband, Neil. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I recognize you. I don't remember you. <laughs> I know what it is. You're on the big screen. You're a movie star. <laughs> Seriously, Stan, she's beautiful. Neil likes to think he's a comedian. Just ignore him. So, how long have you two been married? Hush, nearly eight years now. Wow, any uh, tips for soon to be a newlywed couple? Trust and honesty. Honesty's very, very important. Speaking of trust, I have another surprise for you. More jewelry? Maybe this Uber thing isn't so bad. <laughs> Something even better. Just give me a moment to get everything ready, okay? All right. So, you come here often? I thought I told you to wait at the bar. I didn't want to miss this, now did I? You bored yet? You want to step away for a while? Can't. Stan's got another surprise, and I cannot not just be here when it happens. Come on, this is boring. Well... At least the venue is nice. Was it at least expensive? Yeah, it is. I didn't know you could make so much money driving Uber. Okay, so how long are you willing to wait until his mama die? Or are you going to wait until the divorce and take all this Uber money? Friends and family, if you'd like to come over and take your seats, we're about to get started. Stan, what is this? 
This is the surprise that I promised you. So I want you to stand right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming tonight. I want to introduce you to my beautiful fiance, Bree. But before I do that, there's some very special people in the house tonight to me. My sister, Pam, and my brother-in-law, Neil. Your brother? I thought you said he was a friend for... My father passed away. My mother went a long time with thinking that she wouldn't find someone that she could share her life with. The men that she did run into and find didn't love her, they loved her money. It wasn't until she met my stepdad, Ted, but to most people, when they looked at Ted, they just saw a lowly taxi cab drive. But to her, she saw past the social prejudices. She saw a man that she could spend the rest of her life with and be loved completely. So when my sister started her journey to find someone to spend the rest of her life with, my mother had this to say, make sure you find a Ted of your own. And oddly enough, marrying my brother-in-law, she did, she found just that, who happens to just be an Uber driver. And you know what, Bree? I thought that you could be that for me. I want you to turn around, watch the screen. Are you ready? Neil, lights. I guess you forgot that Ubers have hidden cameras. I've seen enough. Well, aren't you going to say something? What exactly would you like me to say, Bree? Look, I never would have gotten with Gabe if you just would have gotten your act together and got a job like a real man. If you want to play the blame game right now, I don't think you're going to win. You really expect me to live off your crappy salary? Gabe gave me everything I've ever dreamed of. That's what it's about with you, isn't it? That's all I ever hear from you. More clothes, more jewelry, more expensive dinners. When does it ever end? Baby, just calm down. Baby? I don't even remember the last time that you called me that. I might not be able to buy you the nicest things, but I always treated you like a queen. And how do you treat me? Like dirt. It's not true. Yeah, it is. And you know what? It took me way too long to figure it out. So here's how it's going to go. I want you out of the apartment by the morning. What? You're kicking me out of our apartment? It's my apartment. My father left it to me. And frankly, I don't want you in it anymore. You're being ridiculous. Where am I supposed to go? I'm sure you and him can figure it out. I'm sure he's got a bed that you can lie in. Fine. Enjoy your life as an Uber driver. I've always enjoyed my life. I have always been happy with where I'm at. But you, you will never be happy. And for Gabe's sake, I hope he finds out sooner than later. 